Joined by meteorologist Jill Gilardi in the early morning forecast center this morning. Great to have you here. Thank Great you so much. Here. It is a pleasure. And some of the pictures that are coming in are so serene. Yes. Uh, Diane in Danbury, she just sent this one in. Isn't it, it's picture perfect. It is picture perfect. This snow, you know, it's the kind that's going to just look amazing out there. There's not a lot of wind, so it's not going to be falling off all the trees. Uh, we're seeing very low end amounts of power outages, so that's good. That's as really well. good, right? They've been working hard on the roads. And speaking of that, if you have to get went to work and have to travel in this, just expect you're going to be going just slower than normal and uh, allow that engine to slow you down as you approach a stop light or stop sign. So, again, uh, it is the cruiser working amazingly hard outside doing a fantastic job and uh, look at that we're seeing some uh, decent amounts of snow north granby coming in with six and a half portland five inches hanton also at that number four and a half southbury rocky hill around four and bristol about four inches of snow isn't that kind of pretty maybe <laughs> Right. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we see pavement, that is a good yeah, sign Yeah, that's right a there. good sign, right? Here's our Waterbury eye camp. <clears throat> Notice the wind out of the east, uh, northeast at 15 miles an hour. That's sustained. So the wind chill is going to play a little bit of a factor during the day today. Here's our Hartford eye camp with your uh, every other hour forecast. You'll notice the snow icons are with us right through 3 p.m. this afternoon. So temperatures making it into the mid-30s, certainly cold enough to support snow. But there might be a little mixing along the shoreline. Here's our Hartford eye camp. Reduce visibility with the snow coming down. Audrey Russo is in Hartford, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, Wendell. Audrey is in Hartford covering that scene for us. And Jill, it's getting a little scattered and sporadic right now on uh, Doppler, but it is going to fill back in. And we're taking a look at even some moderate snow, these Wedgwood Blues, as I like to call them, as we take a look at Hazardville, Enfield. Good morning to you. We've got it in Summers, Windsor Locks, Paquonic, Broadbrook, Windsor, Ville, <clears throat> on Post Road, Weymouth Road, Mullen Road, Newberry Road. So just be careful out there because all these roads are going to be snow covered this morning. And as we take you out and show you the wider perspective, again, kind of it's uh, a little bit lighter than where we have seen it over the past couple of hours. But nonetheless, we've got more snow to go. As you can see from the composites here, over the past three hours, the snow continues to make its way from west to east. Visibility is down to about a mile, uh, one and a quarter of a mile at Brainerd, one and a quarter of a mile in Meriden, one and a quarter of a mile in Willimantic. So visibility along the shoreline doing a little bit better where we might be getting a little bit of that lull in New Haven at this hour. But the winter storm warning continues through this e uh, early, uh, early to late afternoon. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The expiration times are all over the place, so we're just saying through today. Early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour by hour depiction of uh, some snow coming down. And that is through 11 o'clock. This is uh, through 3 p.m. You'll notice the snow continuing to come down. Tries to bring in a little mixing as the temperatures warm up into the mid to upper 30s. More of the same for the immediate shoreline. We're just going to have to wait and see if that happens. But nonetheless, it's at the tail end of the system anyway. So as we move through Winter Storm Anthony, moderate snow right now. Snow-covered roads. Don't crowd the plow. Please give them extra travel time. Stay behind them. It's one of the safest places to be. Don't try to outrun them. Don't try to pass them. Our daytime highs today. Day, climb into the mid 30s, snow tapers off by the evening commute, and then your seven day forecast includes 43, 49 on Thursday. Chance for some morning showers Thursday, and then another event for Friday into Saturday with that looks like a mixed bag. Sunday, a chance for some snow showers. It's going to be a chilly weekend with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, and that's below average. The normal high for this time of year is about 42 degrees. All right, Kate.